how I trust Him, how I prove Him more and more, Jesus. Scripture I'll be coming from is beginning at Matthew 23, starting with verse 11, ending in 12. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. May the Lord have a blessing on those who not only hear, but adhere to his holy word. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for a heart to serve you. We thank you because you've carved out eternity 
even when we were your enemies for our good. We just want to go forward as you will, and no one else does. We ask that as this word goes forward, that there be no hidden place in which it bind or sear or correct anything that's wrong within us. We ask that for whatever is pleasing to you in us, that only that be magnified, that only that be what you see in us all the more. We thank you for your grace and mercy because we've not earned a thing, but you have certainly given us the opportunity to love you and thank you forevermore. We thank you in Jesus' name, amen. everybody praise the Lord everybody come on praise the Lord everybody somebody told me somewhere in the word it says that if I be lifted up said I'll draw all men unto me can we do that this this morning can we just lift up our God right well you are begin to speak well of his name tell him say God you are a healer God, you are a provider. God, you are a way maker. God, you've been my strong tower. God, you've been my strength. Come on, speak well of his name this morning. God, we thank you for blessing us with a brand new day. In the old way, they said, I looked at my hands. My hands look new. I looked at my feet, and they did too. Man, this has been a trying year. A trying year. But I just truly believe that all things are still working together for our good. Amen. When God brings us, brings us out of all of this, I believe that God is going to do something big in our lives. Can I get a witness this morning? Come on, type on the screen. God's going to do something real big. Come on, God's going to do something real big. If you believe it this morning, come on, lift up a shout of praise. Hey. hey. Y'all got to go with us this morning. Come on, lift up, lift up that praise. Everybody say this. Say. Everybody say, oh, say. Come on. Clap your hands one time. Like this. Everybody say, oh. oh. Everybody say, oh. oh. It's a verse to this song that says this. Say, I believe, say, I believe that it's my season. It's my season. Come on, say this. Say, I believe, I believe. yeah. Come on, say this. That it's my time. That it's my time. It's my time. You say, I believe that, that breakthrough is in the room. I like that right there. Come on, say, anticipate it. We're going to go this morning. Come on, say, God's getting ready. Come on, y'all repeat after me. Say, for I know my God is working a miracle. Hey, just for me. Come on, you say this. Say, and it's gonna be there. You say, oh, if your voice and sing and say, oh, if your voice and say, come on, that it's gonna be safe. That it's gonna be say, there. everybody sing, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, come on, let's go back to the top one time. Come on, say this. Say, I believe. I believe. Let's try this one time. Everybody say that it's my season. It's my season. Y'all clapping out there. Come on, we say this. That I believe, I believe that it's my time. Say, it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. You say, I can feel it. Can feel it. My breakthrough is in the room. Breakthrough in the room. Come on, what are you doing? I It's real big, say, for I know, for I know God, God is a miracle, miracle just for me, just for me. And, it's gonna be and it's gonna be safe, hey. you say, oh, lift your voice and say, oh, come on, clap. 
up your hands one time and, and it's gonna be easy. Big, big, you say, oh, everybody say, oh, let's take it out one time. Come on, clap your hands, say, God's gonna open. announcements just a reminder bible study will be tomorrow you can join us facebook live or youtube live at 6 p.m for all financial obligations you can pay online using the church app through text to give or using the cash app at dollar sign rcwc1 you can also bring your tithes and offering here to the church these are your announcements please govern yourselves accordingly I wonder this morning, is anybody leaning and depending on God? I've been told daily we should crucify our self with flesh. This morning we want to offer up a sincere praise, asking God to search us. God, if you find anything that's not pleasing, we're asking you, God, to take it out of us right now, Father. We're asking your spirit to dwell within us. Find a clean temple, Father. Find this holy temple where you can dwell therein, Father, and have your way. So this morning, we're asking God to prepare us to be a sanctuary. I wonder, does anybody, do you all mind this morning if God just come in and he just inhabits, inhabits right where you are? Can God just sit in the room with you? Is that okay with you this morning? If that's okay with you, come on, just begin to give God praise. You ain't got to type this on the screen. Come on, do this by yourself. Come on, clap your hands. Tell God, thank you. Tell God, you are welcome in this place. Say, God, more of you, less of me. Come on, talk to God this morning. We got an old song that says, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. If y'all don't mind, 
I need y'all to come on go with us this morning. Hey. Y'all ready? I believe we ready. Y'all come on go with us right here. Hey, everybody, everybody, clap your hands now. Y'all give it up for Mike and Joel one time. The song says this, listen. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for, for you. Help me sing and say, to be a sanctuary, to be a sanctuary. pure and holy, pure and holy. Tried, and true. Say, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, and with thanksgiving. I'll, be a I'll be a living sanctuary, sanctuary. Oh. Lord, prepare me Lord, prepare to be a sanctuary, sanctuary. you and holy day, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary, pure and holy, pure and holy. Pure and holy. Pure and holy. Pure and holy. Say, 
sanctuary. This morning, come on, lift that praise up. Hallelujah. Just in case we said it just a little bit too fast, I think it's okay if we slow it down just for a second. Because this morning, we want God to hear our hearts cry. Father. Be pleased with us. Song says this. Lord, prepare me. Come on, say. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living. Sanctuary for Come on, tell you. Lord, prepare me. Lord, prepare me. To be a sanctuary. To be a sanctuary. Pure and holy. Pure and holy. Tried and true. Tried and true. With thanksgiving. And with thanksgiving. I'll be a I'll be a Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Yeah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you welcome. You welcome God. You're welcome God. Holy Spirit, you welcome. You welcome in this place, oh God. You welcome Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you welcome. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you welcome. There's nothing worth that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love. When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone, your presence, Lord, yeah, your presence, Lord. So we sing, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come and feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. There's nothing seen, oh, there's nothing worth more that could ever, that could ever come close. No thing can, no thing can compare, I live in, I live in, your presence, Lord, your presence, yeah. Sweetest of love. When my heart 
sweetest of love. Of the sweetest of love. With love, my heart, my heart is set free. And my shame, and my shame I've tasted and seen. Yeah. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of love. to 
be overcome by your presence. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place, fill the atmosphere. It's your glory, God, that our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Oh, your presence, Lord. We want your presence, Lord. Fill us with your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. Help me say your presence, your presence, Lord. Yeah, your presence, Lord. Oh, your presence, your presence, your presence, Lord. Father, we, we come this morning thanking you, oh God, for allowing us to see this another day's journey. Thank you, Lord, for watching over us and keeping us while we slept and slumbered. Thank you for the angels you sent to watch over us and you gave charge over us both day and night. Thank you, Lord, for stealing the hand of the deaf angel. He wanted to rob us of our very lives. You didn't allow him to do it, and for that we are grateful. We ask, oh God, for forgiveness of all of our sins. For we realize that we have sinned and we've sinned against thee. And as we stand and sit this morning, we ask, oh God, that thou would speak. And if you'll speak, God, we'll listen. Tell us which way to go now, Lord. Tell us what to do now, Lord. Give us our marching orders, Lord. You said in your word, if you will hearken diligently unto your word, God, God, we want to do your word. We want to do your will, God. Oh, God, we love you. And we appreciate you. Heal, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Deliver, oh, God, in your precious name. And we'll give you honor. We'll give you praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our adoration. Glory to God. Again, I'm so grateful and appreciative to have you with us this morning. And I'm going to try not to hold you long because I don't really have a message. I just have a word from God. Just want to talk to you for a few moments and get out of the way. Amen. If you get your Bibles this morning, you're going to need them. Whether that's your, your book Bible or your app or whatever you have. Because I want to infuse you with some scripture this morning. As we prepare for the word of God and we prepare for this, this new year. 
We need a, a, a infusion, a transfusion of the word of God. Because through that word we live. Through that word we'll obtain every blessing God has for us. And it's through that same word that will carry us through the dark and the difficult times and days. And I said on, on uh, New Year's Eve, if you were able to hear that, even though we're in this new year, it does not mean that it will be free of hardship. Doesn't mean that we won't have some sleepless nights. But we thank God that we have him that will see us through. So I want to talk to you just for a few moments with this thought in mind. A time of renewal. A time of renewal. We've made it into 2021. My mom would say by the skin of your teeth, we made it. Some of us, we just fell over in 2021. We were so exhausted from 2020. We were so spiritually exhausted, praying and fasting, pleading with God, not only on our behalf, but for others. And so I want you to understand before you make moves in this year, that you've got to take this opportunity for renewal. You've got to think about it. And it made me think about when the children of Israel finally got into the promised land. And did you realize, and, and, and praise the Lord, that think about this. For 40 years, they traversed in the wilderness. 40 years in a place that should have taken only two weeks. 40 years. The Bible says that, that those that were 20 years old and older that left with Moses from Egypt, did you know that none of them made it? Ex three are the only ones that made it. None of the rest of them that were 20 years old and older. The only three of that age that made it was Moses, Moses Joseph, and Caleb. Everyone else died in the wilderness. And when I think about us coming out of 2020, our wilderness, how many people lost their lives in the wilderness? How many people that started the year out energetic that have heard the voice of God and heard the promises of God, yet they died not receiving the promise? Even though we understand that God cannot lie, they did not receive the promise. But the promise was still alive. Praise the Lord. See, the promises of God, and I know you know this, are still yea and amen. Whatever God told you would happen is going to happen. Whatever God has for you, it's going to come to pass. As I said, he can't lie. So 20 years and older, they never made it into the promised land. But their children made it. The children of those that were in Egypt made it. Now, we could go back through and research why uh, they didn't make it and what sins did they commit, what did they not do, or what did they do that prohibited them from entering into the promised land. But what's important now is that you are in this new year now. What are you going to do with it? See, when we begin to understand that time was given to us and not us to time, when it was given to us to utilize to the best of our ability to do God's will, to fulfill God's word, what are we going to do with this brand new, uh, uh, amen, my dad was a spanking brand new year that we have? What are you going to do with it? Because if you, amen, it's January the 3rd right now. But in just a few more services, it'll be December. And we'll be talking about January 2021. I used to hear my mom say, time waits for no man. 
It keeps moving. Even when we are not doing anything, time never stops. And so I think that we've got to have a plan. We've got to have, we got to have a roadmap of what we're going to do, what comes first. What's the systematic way that we need to utilize and make the best use of this year and this time that God has given us? Because we know that tomorrow is not promised. And we pray, oh God, that we will be in 2022. But the only thing we really are sure about is that we are here right now. The only thing we really know is that we have an opportunity to make a difference in this world that God has assigned us to, this time that God has assigned us to, today. And so I want to talk about, again, a time of renewal. You know, so many times we're so energetic. We want to run and we want to, we want to jump and do all of these things, but right now, spiritually, we've got to be renewed. You've got to be willing now to sit down and meditate with the word of God like you've never meditated before. And I know somebody said, well, why is it more important now? Because you've exhausted some spiritual energy in 2020. And we know that the word of God is bread or meat to our spirit and our soul. You don't know what he said in the book of Psalms. He said, taste and see that the Lord is good. You've got to study this word of God now so that you can build your spiritual strength for what lies ahead in this new year. You've got to study now. You've got to hear God. You've got to spend time with God. So we need this time of renewal. Before we make moves, before we jump, before we've got to plan it out. The Bible talks about what kind of man would build a house without first counting the cost. It's not time for us to be spiritually spontaneous. We got to be deliberate in our moods. The Bible says that we even got to seek wise counsel. We can't afford to waste time now. We can't afford to do things that, that will prohibit us from moving forward in God and moving forward in our destiny. And so I want to just give you a few verses about renewal and what needs to be renewed, and then I'm going to sit down. If you would, go with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 40. And while you're on the way, I'll give you what my text is for today. My text comes out of Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. And listen to what it says here. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen? Amen. So we, we want to make sure that we are ready for what God has for us. And then in verse 2 it says, and do not be conformed to this world. In other words, don't try to act like this world. Don't try to change to fit the people around you. Let them change to fit where you are. But here's what we want to look at. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why is that important? That by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So the first thing that we learn in this renewal time, this renewal period, is simply this. You can't act like the other folk. Hello, somebody. And you got to be transformed, firstly, by the renewing of your mind. And so the first thing I, I want to just put down is, you write down to the renewing of my mind, this time of renewal. Sometimes when you go through things, your mind is just shot. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to believe. You don't know who to trust. You don't know anything. You've, been gone, you've gone through so much. But we need God to renew our minds now. We can't think the way we used to think. You got to think like Jesus now. You got to have the same mind in you that is in him. The renewing of our mind. You see, because when you go through storms, sometimes it even stops you from believing your own word of God. It makes you give up on the promises of God. Be careful when you allow the enemy to get into your mind, your psyche. 
He'll teach you against your own God, things that you grew up believing and knowing. He'll have you doubting it. So in this period of time that we are in now, we got to pray to God, read our word, study, so that we can have a renewing of our mind. You got to know in your mind that God is real. You got to know for certain that God will not lie, and whatever God promised you, he will do it. You got to be certain as you move forward in 2021 that not only is God who he is, but he can do what he said he can do. He's still on the throne. He still has all power in his hands. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 24 says this, that you put off concerning the former conversation the old man. We can't talk like we used to talk now. We can't indulge in foolish conversations now. Conversations that are only meant to stir up strife, that only keeps us arguing and fussing and never getting anything completed, never getting anything done, never coming to any resolution. Even though the word of God said, come, let us reason together, said the Lord, which is corrupt according to the deceitful us to take off your former way of life. Listen to what he says. You cannot afford to drag that old baggage into your brand new year. You cannot afford to bring all of that junk from 2020 and pollute your 2021. Listen at the word of God this morning. The old self that is corrupted by deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Again, it talks about how our minds have got to be renewed. You can't be thinking God don't love me. God doesn't care about me. I'll never get it. I'll never be anybody. I'll never be able to achieve. The devil is a liar. You're somebody in the Lord, and he loves you. He loved you so much that he died for you. A time of renewal. Let me hurry here. Psalms 23, in verse 3, he said he restores our soul. So the next thing that has to be re restored is our soul, our time of renewal, our soul. Some things hurt you to the core, even when it doesn't physically involve you. It hurts us to the core to hear how many people have died. It hurts us in our soul to see how many people are not serving God. It hurts us to the very core and the very existence of who we are to see us destroying our own people in our own neighborhoods. We need to be restored. He restores, praise the Lord, our soul. The very soul, the very essence of who we are. We've become guilty, to, and we don't believe what God says sometimes because we've seen so much devastation and destruction. And we wonder how can there be a God with all of these things happening? And I'm saying that there is a God because if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be able to stand it. He restores our soul. Let me move forward. Psalm 51 talks about renewing a right spirit. Hello, somebody. Our spirit needs to be renewed. Praise the Lord. Our spirit has to be renewed because we've got to be, have a leap in our spirit. We've got to know that God is who he say he is. Renewed in our spirit. The spirit that makes you get up when everybody want to sit down. The spirit that makes you praise God even when something just went wrong. The spirit that tells you the sun will come up in the morning. The spirit that says weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. It's something about that spirit, that spirit of God that rests on the inside of us has to be renewed sometimes. So in this time of renewal, we ask God to renew a right spirit in us. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 says, For which cause we faint not? But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. The more time we spend with God, the stronger we get. Bless the Lord. 
The more time we spend with God in prayer, the more time we spend with God in the word, the more time we spend with God in meditation, the more time we sit with God and listen to God, the better we are, the stronger we get. You've got to get stronger now. This outward man was not made to last. This inward man was made to last into eternity. Glory to God. So the inward man, he's kind of like Thomas. In 2020, he's taken a licking. The inward man. Some of the challenges that you faced in 2020. Beat up on your spirit man. You've had to call on your spirit man. Almost given up, almost gave up, almost threw in the towel. But your spirit man, glory to God, somehow fortified you and kept you moving. But all you wanted to do was sit down. Your spirit man. Colossians 3 and 9 talks about renewal in knowledge. And I know you might be saying, why do I need to renew my knowledge? You got to renew your knowledge because sometimes the enemy will make you doubt what you know. He'll make you insecure in your knowledge. To where you don't believe what God said about you. Y'all hear God this morning. Even though the word of God said that you're fearfully and wonderfully made, you'll let somebody tell you that you're nobody and you start believing them over what God said about you. Renewing your knowledge. You allow somebody to sidetrack you and, and sidestep the word and, and they'll go to the left or to the right and they'll add a word to try to make it fit what they say. But you've got to add to your knowledge this year. Got to renew it this year. How, pastor, how preacher do I renew? You renew by reading your word, asking God for revelation, by attending the service. Even though we are virtual, make sure that you are on that service. Renew your knowledge. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but only his word shall stand or last. And whenever God gives us an opportunity to come back together again. Don't find excuses not to come. Don't find excuses not to do what God say do. Iron sharpens iron. We've got to be renewed in our knowledge. It's not enough to move on emotion. It's not enough to try to live off of what mama said or what daddy said or what big mama said. You've got to know God for yourself. Because in 2020, the devil tried you. You got to know that God will make a way out of no way. You can't go by what somebody else said. You can't go about what was on the TV or what somebody put on Facebook or what somebody put on Twitter. You got to know that God is a way out of no way. I don't care what you say. You can't make me doubt God. Glory to God. You can't make me. I know too much about him. I know what God have done. And I hear the blind man and I got to get out of here. The blind boy, when they came and Jesus healed his eyes and gave him his sight back, the other brothers came and said, what happened to you? Aren't you the same brother that were blind? And now you see what happened. He said, all I know. Hallelujah. Well, I feel it this morning. All I know is Jesus healed me. Glory to God. And they tried to make him change his testimony. Be careful of jokers that try to make you change your testimony. You know what you know. You know what God has done for you. You know how God has kept you through the dark nights and the dark days. You know what God has done. They got tired, they went and said, well, let's go talk to his parents. Went and talked to his parents, said, is this your son that was blind and now he see? How did he get his sight? They chicken out in the spirit. 
They turned cold and say, and they took the easy way out. Instead of standing up for the word of God, standing up for God, they say he's old enough. He can speak for himself. And they go back and talk to him, and I got to get out of here again. And that brother said the same thing. I told you. A man named, a man named Jesus. And some of y'all listening to me this morning, all you can tell them is a man named Jesus. He made the way out of no way. He put food on my table. He paid bills when I didn't have a job. All I know is Jesus. You got to know who healed your body. Maybe the doctor did the surgery. Maybe the nurses gave you your prescription. But I'm going to tell you, if I go to my seat this morning, it was Jehovah that saved you and healed your body. It was him that laid his hands upon you. Glory to God. It was him that brought you out. Glory to God. Renewing your knowledge. Let me hurry here. Renew your spirit. I will bless the Lord. And I quoted that at the beginning of this message. Because it's in my spirit. 1 Thessalonians, in all things, give thanks. Will you begin to thank God? Will you begin to let him know how appreciative you are of what he's done and who he is and who he's been in your life in this time of renewal? Create in us, O oh God a clean heart and renew a right spirit. A time of renewal. If you are confessed to God this morning that you're tired, it was all that you could do spiritually to make it here. If you tell God this morning, God, I need you. God, I, I need you. No substitute would do it. Not only do I need thee now, but every hour I need thee. Every second of the day, Lord, I need thee. Renew me, God. Fill me up again. Anoint me again, God. Yes, Lord. You said in your word that you give new mercies every day. God, will you renew me now? Fill me up. Psalm 23 says, you'll fill us up. Our cup will run over. When your cup starts running over, I, 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 got, I got to go now. When your cup starts running over. When your Holy Ghost coffee starts leaping over the sides of your cup into the saucer of your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Fill me till I want no more. Yeah, God. David said, surely, surely goodness and mercy. shall follow me all the days yes sir all the days of my life and I will and you will dwell in the house of the Lord will glory to the most high God Father we thank you now we thank you for this time of renewal God it's time to fill up again. And we don't want just $5 or $10 worth. Fill us, oh God, till we want no more. 
Fill us, oh God, that we might be able to do that which you've assigned to our hands in this brand new year. Fill us, oh God, till we speak like you. Fill us, oh God, till we walk like you and we talk like you. Fill us, oh God, till we speak like you, God, till we love like you. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this time of renewal. We give you honor, we give you glory. Renew the bodies of the saints of God. Some of their bodies are down. Renew in their bodies, God. Yes, Lord. We'll give you glory. We'll give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time, the best is yet to come. Y'all dance with us, clap your hands, this last song and we gonna be done.
y'all next week. Come on.